all but one of his fights in Germany. Well, he's given his last fight against Joseph Neiji. That was his second round knockout. This guy's 20 and 0 with 16 knockouts. So boy, they're loaded with fighters here in Germany. Sauerland Events has a ton of them, one after the other. That's an 80% knockout ratio for this man, Alexander Frankel. And Alexander has, you know, you'll see very good jabs. He'll come with uppercuts. He's got great hooks. This guy's a, you know, got a loaded arsenal of uh, barrage that he throws on guys. And he's in against uh, Calvin Concrete Davis. Uh, Davis, a former IBF champion of the world, cruiserweight champion, that is. And I always thought that in the part of Calvin Davis, the mistake he made was to try to go so ahead and fight as a heavyweight. Dieses Duell im Cruisergewicht, das ist auf acht Runden angesetzt und Supervisor ist uh, Willi Balz Palatin vom österreichischen Boxverband FVA, der Präsident des Verbandes. Geht der Kampf über die volle Distanz, dann entscheiden diese drei Punktrichter. Es sind Jan Christensen aus Kopenhagen, Dänemark, Rainer Schwarz aus Steyr und Josef Temmel aus Wien, beide Österreich. Und der Ringrichter des Kampfes kommt aus Deutschland. Es ist Ingo Barabas aus Egenhausen. Und das sind sie, die Details zu den beiden Boxern. Der Gast aus den USA boxt in Weiß und Schwarz aus der Roten Ecke. 31 Jahre ist er alt, offizielles Kampfgewicht. While they announced this in German, I can tell you that Alexander Frankel is a much bigger man. He's going to be seven inches taller. He's only uh, seven years younger, but he has a seven-inch advantage in reach. He's going to be three pounds lighter than Kelvin Davis, both in under the cruiserweight limit of 200. Frankel in at uh, 193 and a half, and Kelvin Davis in at 196. Davis, as I mentioned, a former cruiserweight champion. He's in the downswing. He's more of an opponent type of fighter right now. You know, he suffered a severe head injury in uh, New Zealand. He was uh, over there to fight against uh, Shane Cameron, who recently lost to David Tua. And he fell off a bridge and injured his head. But he's back and, and fighting again. And I uh, hope everything's okay with Kelvin Davis. Sein Trainer, Uli Wegner, aus Würzburg, Deutschland, der ehemalige IBF Juniorenweltmeister im Cruisergewicht, Alexander Frenkel. Trained by Willie Baker and Malcolm Garrett of the United States. Malcolm Wer Garrett, you always see him in all Davis different parts of the world, man that lives Frenkel. out there in the Iowa, in the state of Iowa. The arena in Nuremberg. All right, so we're just about set to go as the referee Ingo Barabas calls the combatants to the center of the ring. You know Unified the rules, rules of Follow boxing, 10 point must scoring system, no times. standing Touch eight gloves. count, Good no three knockdown rule, and a fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee can stop the fight. Don't forget, coming up a little bit later on, Nikolai Valuev and David Hay will do battle for the WBA Heavyweight Championship of the World. And I know that's why you're all tuned in across the United States and Canada. I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan with me. Benny Ricardo, the principal's in there. The shorter guy of the two with the black trim on his white trunks is Kelvin Davis. Alexander Frankel, an undefeated cruiserweight, 20-0 with 16 knockouts. And he starts the jab pumping right in the face of Kelvin Davis. I remember seeing Kelvin Davis way back in 2002 when he won a split decision over Arthur Williams. And then, of course, uh, in uh, 2008, this man right here, Alexander Franco, beat Arthur Williams, TKO in the fifth round. So that's one common opponent. Well, this is a big fight for, for Franco in that he's fighting a former champion who's nowadays making more money as a sparring partner. But Davis isn't throwing enough punches here in the first round, as they say that he finally gets a jab off. At one time, you know, he was known as the Little Tyson because, yep. uh, because of the, you know, his body shape and whatnot. And as a younger cruiserweight he had tremendous power but i talked about the head injury that he suffered down in new zealand and he hasn't been fighting very good as of late one six and one in his last few fights and of those uh, eight fights has been stopped three times so things aren't going well for calvin davis as of late and that was the, the accident was because of the fact that he had the, the, forgot the 
they drive on the other side. Yeah, he thought he thought from the ghetto that somebody was after him, trying to trying to run him down on the road. He jumped over the bridge, and unfortunately, I think he broke his leg or his shoulder or something. But he he had a head injury from that and couldn't fight over there. It was a it was kind of you know funny to tell the story, but it's sad that it happened to him. Yeah, that's a shame. This is a guy, tough guy. Again, we've got the chance to see him. And those oh, punches man. are hurting him. Those punches are right on the button. This got hit with two good hooks. There's the hook to the body, the uppercut, right hand. Man, this guy's in trouble. Look at his legs, Benny. He's ready to go. This guy's all over him. Frankel is blasting away at Kelvin Davis. Loaded up a couple of more shots. Kelvin is lost right now. He is lost. He is not throwing a punch, Colonel. That's it. Referee steps in and mercifully stops the fight. Kelvin Davis unable to throw any punches back. And from the looks of it, I think he got a broken nose, too. One of those shots that Frankel hit him, the uppercut just split his nose wide open as he was coming up with it. And there you see Stitch Duran right on top of Kelvin Davis right there. That's also Kelvin Davis's brother right there in the corner with him. And that boy, that's unfortunate. This kid was a great athlete. Kelvin Davis was a football player at the University of Nevada at Reno, was a running back. Very, very gifted physically. And boy, that's a shame he had that accent falling in where he had to jump off that bridge. Well, I don't want to take anything away from Alexander Frankel because he came to fight. He did what he had to do. He stopped this guy by TKO in the first round. And Malcolm Garrett talks to him and praises him. But for Kelvin Davis, Benny, I know the kid. I like the kid. He's a Reno fella. And I wish he just decided to hang him up because he can't compete at the level he once could. And taking nothing away from this guy, Alexander Frankel, who's now 21-0 with 17 knockouts. And what a finisher. What a finisher. Alexander Frankel right there, landing that big right hand, then sensing I got this guy. And boy, did he come in to finish off Kelvin Davis. Never even gave him a chance to throw a punch after first landing that big right hand. And it was over for Kelvin Davis after that. So not a good night for two American fighters. Calvin Davis gets stopped in the first round, and you go back to the first fight that we showed you. Sean McClain also stopped the first round. Sean from New York, Calvin from Reno, Nevada. Good size, too, by Alexander Franco. 6'1", 193 pounds, 24 years of age. And he's a guy with a body style, the way he's cut a cruise away, could go up the heavyweight. Watch this, Benny. Yeah, that's just wicked ability to go ahead and finish off an opponent. Shots landing from all different angles, and also not neglecting the body. That's what I liked about it. He wasn't just head hunting; He was continuing to inflict damage by going to the body as well as to the head. By then, he's almost asking the referee to go ahead and stop it right there because it was pretty much target practice. Kelvin tried to defend himself, Colonel, but just nothing was there. It just was nothing there. Yeah, there were, there were like seven or eight unanswered punches in the first barrage and then three clean shots, including the one that I think uh, broke his nose. You oh. see uh, the uppercut there, and wow, that one he missed. But there were seven or eight clean punches, and finally the referee has to stop, step in and stop. Let's uh, hear the My official Damen particulars. Damen here is the official urteil. Ringrichter Ingo Barabas stopped the Kampf in Runde 1 after 2 minutes and 7 seconds. Sieger durch TKO, der Mann aus Würzburg, Deutschland, Alexander Frankel. All right, so Alexander Frankel uh, gets the Duke, as they say, in his first round technical knockout victory over Kelvin Davis. Well, once again, folks, I hope you're enjoying the fights coming to you from Nuremberg, Germany. Again, I'm the Colonel Bob Sheridan with Benny Ricardo. Benny, uh, some interesting fights here, and the most interesting factor is I think that Saul and Promotion, boy, they've got a ton of fighters, haven't they? they got some knockout fighters. I mean, these guys pack power, and they come in to do some uh, hurt business. I mean, it is a hurt business. It's a shame you get to see a guy like this, Kelvin Davis, I mean, lose the way he did. But again, I was just absolutely blown away by Alexander Franco. What a finisher. And that co-feature tonight, the uh, one American fighter was successful. Johnny Ruiz was able to stop uh, Adnan Serin in the seventh round in the technical knockout effort.